Well, we've been tracking the tropics, specifically Hurricane Dorian for a while now, with new information continuously coming in. Chief Meteorologist Marcus Begel has been keeping an eye on its development and now sitting at a Category 5. We're talking about a very serious formation out there. Hey, uh, Kara, unfortunately, this is a big time storm that has come through parts of the Bahamas region, and it has made two landfalls as of earlier this afternoon, and this storm is going to be moving very slowly across parts of the Bahamas here over the next 24 hours. Let me show you the replay of what we've seen here. So this is the motion of Dorian over the last six hours. You can notice here as it made a couple of landfalls, one near the Marsh Harbor area, Nassau, one of the main islands that many people are used to. That's a little bit more to the southwest from here, but we've had two landfalls here. But the bigger story today is just how strong it got overnight. We went up to about 185 miles an hour, which now becomes one of the top strongest hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin on record. The all time 190 miles an hour. That was Allen. Today, Dorian was added to 185. That includes Wilma, Gilbert, and the Labor Day hurricane. And then 180 miles an hour, just listing off some of the more recent ones Irma, Rita, and of course, everybody remembers Rita, and then the Mitch storm, too. These were the most intense Atlantic hurricanes by their wind speed. There's the bigger view of Dorian. There's Nassau, the Bahamas there on the southern part. They're getting their share of rain, but the more intense winds with gusts over 220 miles an hour coming through the northeastern part of the Bahamas Islands. Your latest information showing still a Category 5 storm, sustained winds at 185 miles an hour, still making a very slow jog to the west at about 5 miles an hour. Florida is nowhere close to seeing this storm uh, be out of their sight just yet, but even areas off to the southeast certainly still have some problems there too. So a lot of uncertainties here that are going to take place. We're going to track this a little bit more coming up here in just a moment. That's incredible to see right there, Marcus. Well, you're absolutely right about its path of uncertainty. It just means more people are going to have to prepare for it. It's packed with a powerful punch, record breaking wind speeds now up to 180 miles per hour. It's become the strongest hurricane in modern records for the northwestern Bahamas and will make its way to the east coast where we have Whitney Wild to bring us the latest. Preparing for Dorian's unpredictable path. I would uh, ask everybody uh, to stay very vigilant. The now Category 5 hurricane is bearing down on the northern Bahamas, and officials from Florida to the Carolinas are all sharing the same message. I think we all have to, to take this very seriously. The storm's track shifted Saturday, indicating Florida may not take a direct hit. I feel a lot more relaxed, a lot uh, less stressed now that it's turned a little bit. But officials there say now is not the time to breathe a sigh of relief and that forecasts can shift by the hour. If there's anything I can almost certainly guarantee is it's going to change again. Even if Dorian does not make landfall in Florida, the state could get slammed with powerful winds, heavy rain, and a dangerous storm surge. Sunday morning, Florida officials ordered mandatory evacuations as some coastal areas were put under a hurricane watch. All of Florida is under a state of emergency, as well as in North and South Carolina and multiple counties in Georgia. It's a very, very unpredictable uh, hurricane. Uh, we, we are not uh, solid on any path at this time. While Dorian's pace is slowing, the monster storm is gaining intensity. Noah's hurricane hunters captured this stunning image inside Dorian's eye Saturday. Even from space, its size is daunting.